Hi everybody, this is Carol Hill. In this tutorial, I will be showing how to find more Italian records using the Family Search catalog. So let's go ahead and get started. We are at familysearch.org is where you want to go. Then you will go to the search in the middle and come down to catalog. You can get to the catalog a couple other ways, but I think this is the, the way I would prefer to go to it. And then what we're going to do is just go ahead. You'll come to this default, which is the place. And since we're doing Italian records, I'm going to go ahead and just type in Italy. And you can go ahead and click on the Italy. And so this is just going to search all of Italy. Um, if you want, you can put the exact place you would like to here. But let me show you what you can do if you just search like this for Italy. So we'll go ahead and click this search button. Family Search always has a blue search button. And so these, this is all the records and information that fam, Family Search has, their catalog, just if you were looking on the country level of Italy. So there's some immigration and immigration and genealogies and periodicals. So anyway, th you could look here for records just by clicking on these. Let me show you if I click on cemeteries even and open up and I'll sh it'll just show you North American records in Italy and you can click there and go and and view that but what we're going to do is go ahead and click on places within Italy and so this will give you the provinces and then I can click on Milano and this will give me just on the on the province level what records they have and then we can click places within Italy Milano and then we will get the communes and so let's just I wanted to show you an example of um, this one right here okay so this has a couple church records and civil registration so let me show you we're going to click on the church records and let's look at this first item right here okay so this tells me you know that this is a I believe that's church book 1831 to 1834 so it doesn't cover a lot of years and then tells you it's on microfilm and then down here if you need this in English it tells you that this is deaths of military personnel at this place which was in Austria and now it's actually in Milano Italy and so if you had someone that you think maybe served in the military this may be really helpful to you and as you come down here um, you can see that this is the microfilm again, the locations at the Family History Library in their international film section, and also the, that you will find this information or this record on item seven of this film. So I'm going to show you how you find that. And then over here is the camera, and then it says the film is viewable with additional restrictions. So let's click on that and see what they mean by additional restrictions. Okay, so what this says, to view the image, you must do one of the following. Sign into Family Search, access the site at, the, at a Family History Center, or access the site at a Family Search affiliate library. So you can click on these and, um, and look at those, but I'm going to go ahead, and this is where you may want to go ahead and get a free account right up here. So if you get to this point, and you're you're so excited to find something but you don't have an account just please do free account and you'll get one so let's go ahead and sign in with mine and i have it saved so it's easy to sign in because don't you always forget your password okay so this is going to sign in and so here is this this is actually a digitized microfilm for these military records and remember i said it was item number seven so let me show you this what you want to look for are these black squares because this actually um, is the beginning of a microfilm and a beginning of a section so as you can see this is item one okay so if you remember back there i have to find item item seven so what i would do is go back here to this view this browse multiple images so let's go ahead and click that and it'll go back and then what you will do is just scroll down until you find item seven so right there if I were to zoom that in that's item two 
you know, in item three. And the reason why they did them all on one microfilm is that microfilms could be pretty large and so they didn't want to waste space, right? <laughs> and item four, item five, we'll go ahead and just run, roll down to item seven. So you can, okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to click on this item seven and this is where you'd want to start. And as you can see up here now, I'm on image 264 of 795. So that's just how you can kind of scroll through those quick. And then let's just go on this arrow right here forward and let's see, just to give you an idea of what the record would look like. Okay, so this is just uh, probably a, kind of like a title page. I don't read Italian, so sorry. Okay, so here is where you would start looking for that inf the information on your on someone that, that served in the military. And as you can see, you can zoom in in there and make that a lot closer. You can see what those columns are. Um, so anyway, that is pretty much it. Um, you will see that the catalog has more records than what they've indexed or what they've digitized right now. This is October 19, 2017. So this will change, I'm sure, as we go. We hope one day these will all be indexed. But take a look at this, and I hope you'll get used to using the library because it has great information and more than what, what you can find online. All right. Thanks, and hope you're having a good day.